78% of people. That is ridiculous. What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV. I'm outside Nottingham Castle to start off today's video. It is very chilly, but actually still a little bit sunny. And uh, just to start off today's video, what I wanted to do was, if you've seen my LSJ Fitness uh, t-shirt photos, I took them all around this area, in and around the castle. So I thought I'd just bring myself around this general area. There's that post box, you've seen the post box with the gray t-shirt, uh, that was taken right there. It's pretty damn cool because they were all taken within sort of 20 meters of each other, and it made it a hell of a lot easier to actually take the photos because they were all taken along this one little strip here and so I'll just take you guys down along with me and then I'll show you a little bit later on. Don't know if you guys could tell on my face there, uh, there were some people walking past looking at me as if I was some sort of alien so I kind of uh, cut the vlog a little bit short. Okay, people think that vlogging in public is really really weird but I'm telling you guys give it five years and people walking around with cameras just filming themselves, talking, vlogging, doing this general kind of thing, it will be the norm in five years. And so, to be honest, it doesn't really bother me um, if people think like that. So what I've done, guys, is made my way down the street. And as you can see, this bit of rock here, I'll put the photos up on the screen as I talk about them. That was taken there, and if we turn around here, there's a door right there, where there was a few photos taken there. Stood around here, stood on this bit. This uh, ramp right there, took some photos there. And if we just walk another 30 seconds back up the street, then I'll show you where the other ones were. To be honest guys, it's really nice to kind of take this opportunity to get outside, even though it is winter, to get outside and show you the city, show you exactly what I do. I'll just walk past another door here. There's another door here where I kind of cross my arms. Did a load of uh, Instagram modeling type stuff. Um, I took one there. There's a post box up here, took one outside the gate, all that kind of stuff, and I literally live a 30 second walk from this place, guys. And so it's pretty damn cool, and I'm really, really thankful that I've had the opportunity to actually live around here and show this kind of content to you guys, because not many people actually get to do that. So again, as you can see, the entrance to the castle here, the telephone box here, and another photo was taken here, and we've literally been right where my finger is, just there. So all of the photos I took, the LSJ launch was taken within sort of 20 30 meters of each other and that's just the kind of place that I live in and I, I love it I just love it to bits guys I can't get enough of Nottingham and people people kind of always question it and sort of think well isn't it just like everywhere else so and so has this so and so has this but I'll walk a little bit further down the road as well and show you one thing which is which I really like about it because about two weeks ago now Probably a little bit more than that, just this random ferris wheel popped up and again, it's a two minute walk from my house. Okay guys, so as you can see in the distance there, the ferris wheel has popped up a couple of weeks ago and if I just turn around in a circle, this is a very touristy kind of area in Nottingham. All the statues are down there and the castle is up here. And if you take a look up there, there are some more flats and the student houses and all that kind of stuff. And I live up that way. And as I, and as I say guys, if I literally just spun in a circle like this, you guys would see everything that I've just shown you, everything that I managed to do for the LSJ Fitness launch within this little sort of 50 meter perimeter of where I live. It's great. So um, what I'm gonna do now guys is just head back home because my battery is flashing. I need to change my battery. Hopefully you guys actually managed to hear some of this stuff that I was saying because I know uh, it can be a little bit windy and this camera isn't very good in the wind. So um, like I said guys, I'll see you guys back at home. Hopefully you enjoyed this part of the video. How's it going guys? Hopefully you enjoyed that last section of the video. And again, I haven't edited it yet, but hopefully you could hear everything I was saying clearly. Uh, I just got back and I'm still red faced from the cold, but I thought I would just quickly show you what I've been doing regarding the LSJ Fitness launch. Because it is a couple of weeks ago that I announced my clothing launch, and actually the response has been really, really positive, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. And so if I just turn you around here, you'll see the kind of thing that I've been doing. On my laptop, as you can see, there's lots of orders, uh, orders going through here, invoices sent through PayPal. So what I've actually managed to design all by myself, guys, using the basic GCSE ICT knowledge that I have, uh, is a spreadsheet on Ed on Edexcel. If you guys are familiar with computers, you'll know what that is. Basically, what I've managed to do is figure out how much it's going to cost me, how much the sales are going to be, and, uh, and from that, how much profit there's going to be. And so that everything on this spreadsheet is going to tell you that. And so if I just give you guys a quick look at it, without giving away any sort of personal details, if I just cover that bit up there, as you can see there, there's just the start on the orders there. I'd love to show you guys a little bit more, but obviously there's private information on here. There's people's addresses, people's 
emails, people's home addresses, all that kind of stuff. And so I can't actually show you that much, but I just wanted to show you this a little bit in the vlog just to prove to you guys what I'm doing. And hopefully, hopefully by the time this video goes out on Wednesday morning, 8.30 UK time, uh, as you're watching this right now, hopefully this order would have been fully processed, all the payments would have been made, and your t-shirts will be on the way, guys. And so thank you guys for your patience, thank you guys for your uh, cooperation, thank you guys for your support as always, and let's carry on with the rest of the video. Alright, how's it going guys? Um, so, obviously uh, it's now night time, as you can see outside it's dark. Um, I've just been scheduling some posts for Facebook, um, and I've been asleep for a little while, that's why I've not been vlogging. Um, actually, I saw something funny on Facebook where uh, Trent, Nottingham Trent, the uni that I'm at, is, uh, is the laziest uni in the country, in the whole of England. And so this article here by the tab uh, states that Trent is the laziest uni by napping too much. And if you guys can see, where are we? Where are we? There we are. Trent, 78%, top of the table. Now, I would usually dispute this, but as I've just been asleep for the last couple of hours, um, and do take a nap quite often, uh, especially when at uni, and I'm not on placement, I can't really dispute that. But anyway, the point that I was going to make uh, originally is that I've just been scheduling some uh, posts for my Facebook page. Uh, if you haven't if, if you haven't liked or followed my Facebook page or my Instagram or anything like that, I do post daily on all of my social media platforms. And so do check them out. The links will be in the description box. So now I'm just going to check the rest of my invoices, check they're all sent through properly, check the money has come through from the customers properly. And then from that, I'll be able to contact the supplier properly and say, I want this many shirts in this size. So don't worry, guys, your shirts are on the way. Okay, guys, so it is dinner time and what I'm going to be having is some of this chicken from Asda. It's not the best quality chicken in the world. Uh, by no means is it the best quality chicken in the world, but it is chicken nevertheless. Um, and so with that, I'm going to be having some of this whole wheat pasta. This is from Asda, as you guys can see here. And what I love about this pasta is that in a 100 gram serving, there's 148 calories and 0.9 grams of fat, as you guys can see there. But whereas, if I compare this to what I would call sort of a more normal kind of pasta and um, this is just from Tesco and as you guys can see here per 100 grams is 279 calories so really if you think about it that is almost double the amount of calories in pasta and to be honest to me it tastes the exact same there's a slightly different texture because it's whole wheat rather than normal pasta but to be honest if you ask me that is a very very small price to pay for the reduced calorie intake that you're going to be getting from this kind of pasta Okay guys, so here is the finished product. There is a humongous chicken breast as you guys can see there. 115 grams of pasta and 100 grams of peas there as well. So I'm going to enjoy this and conclude this video here. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching as always. And remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.